This, ladies and gentlemen, is an historic moment. Never before has there been a gathering of this magnitude to support men's and boys' issues. We have got serious problems. I have been working in this area advocating for the rights of and here we go. What you'll hear is that we hate women, that it's a backlash against women's rights. You'll hear that we're regressives that want women back in the kitchen and, and making sandwiches and, and barefoot and pregnant. Misogynist rantings would be at home in the far-reaching internet subculture widely described as the men's rights movement a toxic distillation of the worst aspects of American sexism. It's a universe of message boards like Reddit's The Red Pill, where men get together to express their hatred towards women. You're just bitter, you're a loser, you're a whiner, you're ugly, you're undesirable, you're lazy, you're scary, you must be a racist, you must be a misogynist. It's a gathering of women haters. The Southern Poverty Law Center has classified that group and men's rights groups as hate groups. And this is the way people who don't want men to talk about issues try to shut us up. Because we've been focusing our binoculars on the issue of discrimination against women. Most of the discrimination is faced by men. The fact of the matter is men are suffering. Their wife wants to abort the child and they don't. What do you tell them? I can't tell you at this point how many guys I've talked to who are like, yeah, you know, she stabbed me and they put me in jail. <laughs> I'll never forget this. He said, if she starts hitting you again, you better get out of there fast because if she just breaks a fingernail trying to hit you, we'll arrest you. Just say that he either raped you, sexually abused you, and we'll get you the house, we'll get the kids, and it's done quick. All she needs to do is make the accusation, and that's on your record. DNA should mean do not ask, because it's now illegal to even get a test, and if you get a test without the mother's permission, you will be criminally prosecuted. There was a 15-year-old boy, there was a 35-year-old woman, and she was able to collect child support from this boy that she raped. It's it is. False accusations, men's health issues, homelessness, the rates and statistics that we don't hear about. 93% of workplace fatalities are men. Four of five suicides are men. Men are conscious that our society doesn't want to hear their pain. We value female life more than we value male life. Because the U.S. government does not want to send you to die. They would rather send me to die. All these forms of discrimination are happening in a society that doesn't even allow us to talk about them. We've talked about women's issues for 50 years openly in this culture. I'm, I think I agree with everything you said, but there's, there's still some kind of unsettling doubt, and I don't know where that's coming from. And then sometimes I think the MRAs are just duping me and giving such a strong pitch about what they believe in to convince me of something that's actually just some out there theory that men are discriminated against and women are have the advantage. So I realized, okay, I need to bring some feminists right. into the mix to make Good. sure that we have that side. Good. So it's kind of my journey learning about the men's movement because I've been a feminist my entire life. The more I've gotten to know about the men's rights movement, the more confused I am about right. everything. Feminist majority? Yes, women are still oppressed. Culturally, politically, socially, economically. They call themselves MRAs, men's rights advocates. I'm not sure what the, the goal is for MRAs because it sounds like they feel out of power and they feel like their voice isn't being heard. And certainly if anybody can understand that, it's feminists. White men are starting to feel misplaced because women are sharing space. I am a man and I need feminism. <laughs> Is the men's rights movement really the gender version of the white nationalist movement? I'm not against men having their rights, but you know, in the history of everything, men have always had rights. 
Is it possible that the things that they're railing against are actually patriarchal things? We live in more of a patriarchy now than we ever did. When it comes to equality under the law, when it comes to representation in the political halls of power, the business halls of power, uh, men are advantaged over women. No question. No one can, no one can uh, debate that. As I see it, the only real imbalance is in the belief system. All I had to do, a simple choice, I could just say, yes, you're right. Men are the enemy. No problem. But I couldn't. I absolutely couldn't. I think that the feminist movement is based on the idea that women have been victims, but not that men are the perpetrators. Teach men not to write. Only men can stop right. Men commit domestic violence. We need to stop violence against women instead of just stopping violence. That is feminist training. We all want to make a difference and ensure that this is a better world for the future women. What we are here for, to say no more to violence in any courts, especially against women and girls. We have a big hole in the area of compassion for boys and men. Instead of debating us, they try to shut anything we do down. We can't solve any of these problems if we're not allowed to even stand up and say they exist. We just don't seem to respect each other for who we are. And there's something sinister, there's some sinister aspect of our culture, something sick, something malignant, something horrifically destructive. I think it's inherently antagonistic, so the reason security guards are here, I think that's entirely warranted got all these death threats and rape threats and I was terrified. We are all organizing as a single voice, a loud voice. It's time for us to quit apologizing for being for men's rights. It's time for us to quit apologizing for being men. It's commonplace and it's everywhere and the more you start to become conscious of it, the more you realize that it's there. I don't like sympathy for, for any of this. The red pill is about looking at these issues in an honest way, even when it's uncomfortable. Are you going to put a disclaimer that no feminists were harmed in the making of this movie? <laughs> <laughs> and then you could put in parentheses into that, we really don't care whether men were harmed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>